A very good morning to your respective teachers, parents and my dear friends. I am so happy to have a word with you again through online medium after a long time. So how is it going? I hope all my teachers and friends and your family members are healthy and safe at home. In this pandemic situation, please do not forget to use face masks, hand sanitizer or soap solutions whenever you go outside. Let me introduce myself. My name is Anna Maria Vimanoj, studying in class 7, Lord School, Adivikara Konam, Trivandrum, where learning inspires life. I am so blessed to be a student of Lord School. Today I am here in front of you to conduct a seminar on the first chapter of our ICC 7th Standard Chemistry textbook. The name of the chapter we are going to discuss today is Matter and its Composition. This is my first attempt, so I humbly request you to give me your uh, valuable feedback as well as uh, forgive me for any mistakes. Let's start with the synopsis. Introduction. What is matter? Properties of matter. Does matter have shape? Particles of matter. State of matter. Change of state. Diffusion. The conclusion. Chemistry is one of the physical sciences that help us to describe and explain our world. Chemistry is part of everything in our life. We can find chemistry in the food we eat, the air we breathe and literally every object we can see, feel and touch. So, what is matter? Anything that has mass and occupies space is called matter. Anything that has a physical existence is called a matter. Examples whiteboard, scale, watch, clothes, air, milk, water, wood. These are examples of matter. According to physical state of existence of these things, we can broadly classify matter into three. Solid, liquid and gas. This is classification. Solid, liquid and gas. Matter, the physical state, no kitan, and the chemical properties, no kitan. Chemical properties in the varana, number parana, salad in the ulile molecule and dana, and the structure, structure in the varana, kadana, and dana, no kitan, up number pinapati. What is molecule? Two atoms join together to form a molecule. Each April, number solid, liquid, and gas in the moon states of matter and which the my party can go. Apo, matter and the definition of the definition Anything that has mass and occupies space is called matter. Inni, matter and the matter is called matter. This is the activity. This is the beaker. This is the beaker. This is the beaker. This is the liquid. This is the same beaker. 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 This is the same Water level eraser. Apadinartham is solid in the space of occupy chedu. To be more simple, the solid have occupied the space in the beaker. Hence, the water level rise and occupy the space in the beaker. In Namaka liquid in the case, no ka. And then Namki beaker la corchuella medica. Adinitiation of corchola goody, motta added uduka. Noko, Namli water oichodapo, but the vella reside. Upon the kidney and the manslaka, he water in the marana liquid in American space avishimund. Matter liquid formula alum adinidican space avishimana. Inni added the activity gas in a cushion. Candile, he would be curling and corchuella metavich tund. It is same be curler, nanary empty glass tumbler, kamilti ericivich tund. Empty glass tumbler nagatan erte air and low. Upon the glass tumbler, air kivetchapo, it is nagatem mudven air num portu puanula path the kitila. E beaker nagatola spacer, e tumbler, e air rum occupy chedu. A solid in him gas in him space according to the gondi, e water level increase I. E activity in the Namuka Manchilavum, matter gaseous form in anangilim, adina occupy chia and space avashamana. Adu gondana, air water nulil, kadan the one pole, water level increase I. From these three activities, what we studied now is matter always occupies space. A 
അതായത് മാറ്റർ ഏത് ഫോമിലാണെങ്കിലും അതിനെ ഒക്കുപ്പായി ചെയ്യാൻ സ്പേസ് ആവശ്യമാണ് ഡിഡ് യു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ക്യാൻ യു ഫോളോ മീ സോ എനിത്തിങ് ദാറ്റ് ഹാസ് മാസ് ആൻഡ് ഒക്കുപ്പായ സ്പേസ് ഇസ് കോൾഡ് മാറ്റർ സോ റിമെമ്പർ മാറ്റർ ഹാസ് എ ഡെഫിനിറ്റ് മാസ് ഈവൻ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഇ സോളിഡ് ലിക്വിഡ് ഓർ ഗേഷ്യസ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് എനി മാറ്റർ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഇൻ സോളിഡ് ലിക്വിഡ് ഓർ ഗേഷ്യസ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ക്യാൻ ബി വേഡ് യൂസിങ് എ വേയിങ് മെഷീൻ Now I will show an example on gas for better understanding. Here I have hung two balloons in a weighing machine. We know that there is air filled in these balloons. I am going to blow this red balloon with a pin now. What happens now? As the air inside the blue balloon have weight, this balance will come to a inclined position this proves that air also have mass as we have seen these many experiments you will be able to understand the next topics very easily does solid have a permanent shape yes solid have a shape there is a definite shape for example this scale or this board the shape of this scale or this pen or this boards or this clothes never change now even if we look into a broken stone also we see it have a shape even it is irregular the shape of solid do not change even if we replace it from one state to another next does liquid have a permanent shape no liquid doesn't have a permanent shape let's start with the simplest example which we can understand easily does liquid have a permanent shape no liquid doesn't have a permanent shape i will show you an experiment when i pour this water into this glass it take the shape of this glass so look at this bottle it have taken the shape of this bottle this proves that liquid doesn't have a permanent shape does gas have a permanent shape no we all have gas cylinders at home the gas occupies the full space and shape of that cylinder now look at this lighter see the gas in it it have taken the shape of that lighter container just like liquid gas also do not have a definite shape so whenever we fill the gas it occupies the space of that object so we have learned that matter have mass and it occupies space and regarding the shape also so we have learned the properties of solid liquid and gas now let us learn about particles of matter any particle which we see daily is in the form of solid liquid and gas is made up of crores and crores of tiny particles we cannot see these small particles in solid liquid and gas with our naked eyes so anything like this pen this board is made up of crores and crores of tiny particles for example we take salt or sugar if we taste a pinch of salt or sugar from a grind it all have a same taste if we mix salt or sugar into a water the entire water taste will be changed that means even the smallest particle of salt or sugar here all the properties of these substances so when we stir salt and sugar once put into the water the tiny particles in salt and sugar get separated and spread into the water now we are going to learn about states of matter i am going to explain about arrangements of particles in different states of matter the first one is solids the particles of solid is closely or tightly packed so particles of solid have no space to move around but do you know they vibrate as we cannot see the particles of matter with our naked eye we are unable to feel that vibration why these particles are tightly packed this is because of the huge force of attraction between the particles next is liquids liquids in liquid the particles are not that much closely or tightly packed see they can't lay they cover space ella undallo we know that liquids are able to flow alle why the particles of liquid are not closely or tightly packed because 
the force of attraction between the particles are weak it is not strong like particles of solid but still there is a force of attraction so the particles of liquid can flow next we will discuss about arrangements of particles in gases the force of attraction of particles in gas is very very weak kandile ee particles thamile nalla space undalle so the gas molecules can spread out their freedom of movement is extreme there is lot of space between the particles in gas hope you understood clearly the arrangements of particles in solids liquids and gases and states of matter i will brief the things we dis discussed just now using a table it will help you to understand very easily so let's start the distance between the particles in solids is extremely low in liquids is medium in gases is very high freedom of movement in solid is extremely low in liquids is medium in gases very high force of attraction between particles in solids is very high in liquids is medium in gases is extremely low i hope this table has helped you to understand much better let us go through change of state what is change of state it explains how the state of matter changes accordingly that means how solid changes to liquid and how liquid changes to gas and vice versa what is the solid state of water yes it is ice likewise the liquid state of ice is water see when the ice is kept in a normal temperature it gets melted now when we heat this water in a stove then the temperature increases more and the particles in water become more loose the space between them increases and thus the kinetic energy that means the movement of this particle increases due to the liquid state of water changes to gas state now let us discuss the last topic diffusion it is a very familiar process to us which we see daily in the previous topics we studied that particles in any matter is in continuous movement in solids the movement is very less as it is tightly packed but still it vibrate but in liquid and gas the freedom of movement is easy because it is loosely packed now i will show you an experiment of diffusion happening in water the things i used for this experiment is potassium permanganate and a glass of water now i am going to put uh, some uh, potassium permanganate to this water see what happened when two different matters come into contact and when particles of these two different matters mingle the particles get automatically mixed to an extent without any human intervention or any external pressure this is known as diffusion so we have finished in the chapter did you enjoy the session to be honest this was my first online seminar i know there were some ups and downs hence i humbly request you to give your valuable feedback which will encourage me i sincerely thank all my viewers especially all teachers friends and parents for spending your valuable time with my session on chemistry i take this opportunity to remind you once again with the preventive measure that we together can take against the corona virus disease Wash your hands regularly. Maintain physical distancing. Avoid touching your face. Use face mask whenever you go outside. Refrain from activities that weaken your lungs. Dear friends, life is a menu. So remember, whatever you order for your life is what is going to be delivered to your table. Stay home, stay clean, stay safe. Thank you and God bless you.